Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Got out to the range and I had to check out this PSA 5.7 rock. Chambered 5.7 by 28 millimeter. It's a full size handgun and flat dark earth offers a lot to it. Now if you have noticed, 5.7 has become extremely popular. A lot of manufacturers are making firearms chambered in 5.7 and when Palmetto State Armory came out with the rock kind of took people by surprise certainly took me by surprise but they came out with 23 round mags if you look most of their 5.7 rocks are optics ready this one is not but it has a 5.2 inch fluted barrel right there see those flutes and they came out with a pretty nice handgun. I think it's good looking. They offer a lot of options in terms of color and barrel length. This one is a threaded barrel. It has a trigger that's on the heavy side right around six pounds with a very short reset. They also have night sights, which is certainly a nice touch. Forward serrations, flat dark earth. I picked this up used for a very attractive price under 200 bucks and they are budget price you look at some of the other handguns out there fn comes to mind about 1100 these go for between three and four hundred dollars depending on what you get if you get the threaded barrel if you get various colors and then the newer ones are optics ready but it's a nice handgun full size happy to have it let me load it up and we'll fire it some more because that 5.7 round, there is like zero recoil. It's like non-existent. It, there are 40 grain bullets. And I'm also going to do a reliability test with five different types of ammo. Now there's no doubt that the 5.7 is expensive. Definitely on the expensive side, but I'm happy with this so far. I've only taken a few shots. That Those were only the, the second group of shots I've taken with it. Yeah, there is like no recoil. But the 5.7 is fast, it's loud. People say there's there are not a lot of ammunition manufacturers, but I beg to differ because when I did my tabletop review, I showed five different types and I'm going to do a reliability test with those five types very shortly, but the slide just comes off like that. It is so easy then to put it back on. You just get it into place and then charge it. Nice and easy, disassemble. 23 round mags, you gotta love that. Let's go ahead and load this mag with 15 rounds. It's a reliability test. We'll start out with the Federal. We'll just push it in there, just like a rifle mag. All right, you don't need to slide it in. All right, that's Federal. Then we'll go with the Fiocchi Range Dynamics. This is 62 grain subsonic. So this will be going in reverse order at the range. Then we'll go with Fiocchi High Performance, 35 grain. All right, quite a bit lighter. And then this is the FN round with a Hornady VMAX in there. See that blue tip? We'll go ahead and load three in there. And then the first one that we're going to shoot at the range will be three rounds of this AAC. I've never shot this before. So we'll go ahead and load three rounds if I can get it in there. And this is 15 rounds with five different types of ammo. That AAC is steel case. Here's the mag I loaded up. We've got the AAC. I've never shot steel case 5.7, so let's see how it goes. And what did I have there? Let's try it again. And a dead trigger, and it did not eject. Let me go ahead and see that. So the rock, let's see I have one right there, all right, and that did eject, let's try it again, all 
All right, so all those fed had a little issue with the steel case AAC 40 grain ammo. Let me load up some more of that and we'll see if we have that same problem. AAC rounds. Let's go with that seven inch target. And a dead round. Basically all I'm doing is resetting the trigger. And another. Yeah, that stuff is not to be trusted. At least with this handgun. The PSA 5.7 Rock, getting it done at the range without that AAC ammo. Doesn't like the steel case, but the other stuff is just fine and I'm okay with that. But I like the capacity, I like the price that I paid for it, even to buy it new. It's, it's really not that expensive at all compared to other makers out there. I like the 23 round mags, 5.2 inch threaded barrel. It just meets all the needs that anyone would want with a full size handgun. Night sights. I will mention this though. The cases, they spit out really far, like really far. Pretty, uh, pretty interesting how far they go. Usually it's like five, six feet for your standard nine millimeter. Not these, they go way off. So interesting little tidbit there, but I'm happy with the gun, happy with what I paid for it. And I will be doing more of this in the future. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.